The new DeepSeek AI out of China has been making headlines lately, I think primarily because it was credited with helping knock off over a half a trillion dollars off of NVIDIA's market cap. It was, I read, the most valuable company in the world at the time. Uh, those of us that follow the stock market already knew that. But I thought, why not go and see what's going on with this DeepSeek AI and see if we can generate some t-shirt designs using it. So that's what our goal is in today's video. Let's get to it. So for this exercise, we're going to be using DeepSeek's Janus Pro 7B model, which allows it to both generate images and describe images. So I thought first, why don't we jump in and have it describe a print on demand t-shirt design that I had queued up here. It's a kawaii style panda that says just a girl who loves pandas and bubble tea. So I'm simply going to drag and drop this into the image upload box and you can see it right there. And under question on the right hand side, I'll say, describe this graphic t-shirt design. Then I'm gonna scroll down and click chat. Give it about 30 seconds and it will describe the design. All right, and the response from DeepSeek's AI is, this graphic t-shirt design features a cute cartoon panda sitting down and holding a cup of bubble tea. The panda has large, expressive eyes, rosy cheeks, and a small tuft of hair on its head. The background is black with colorful elements such as a rainbow, clouds, stars, and bubbles surrounding the panda. The text on the design reads, quote, just a girl who loves pandas and bubble tea, end quote, in a playful, rounded font. The overall theme is whimsical and fun, appealing to those who enjoy cute and colorful designs. I think it did a pretty good job describing this design. And I think this would make a pretty good description for your SEO if you're selling this on a print-on-demand t-shirt on a platform like Amazon or Etsy. I'm always thinking of how can I monetize this stuff. By the way, if you wanna learn how I made six-figure profits selling print-on-demand t-shirts and other products every year since 2019, the link is in the description to my full print-on-demand course. Now, let's have DeepSeek AI generate us a t-shirt design. If we scroll down here, there is a text to image generation option. By the way, I will drop a link to this tool in the description so you can check it out for yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on over to Etsy where I'm using the Everbee Chrome extension, which is the best tool when it comes to researching Etsy. And I simply typed in St. Patrick's Day t-shirt and instead of performing a normal keyword search on Etsy, I searched Everbee's database of over 130 million listings. Now, if I scroll down, I also decided to exclude the word SVG, by the way, so that we don't have to compete with digital sellers. We're only looking at print-on-demand sellers. And I sorted by total sales. This is a bestseller right here. It is a sweatshirt. It says, everybody in the pub getting tipsy sweatshirt. This has sold, what? What did it say? Almost 2,000 times, all right? That is absolutely incredible. If you were making $1 profit per sale, you've made over, or you've made almost $2,000. So what I'm gonna do is pull up this design and maybe copy the text at least. Everybody in the pub get tipsy. Go back over to the Janus Pro 7B and under text to image generation where it says prompt, design a graphic t-shirt, design for a graphic t-shirt the following colon uh, the text quote everybody in the pub getting tipsy and a green uh, four leaf clover so we'll keep it simple for the first one i'm going to click generate images and see what happens so let's check out the images that it generated for us there's actually a full screen option kind of hidden under that icon uh, so i see a green background so it got the color green with saint patrick's day uh, but the text is pretty skewed in this version uh, the next one, same thing. I, I knew kind of ahead of time before I recorded this video from experimenting that uh, the Janus Pro 7B current iteration struggles mightily with text. However, I have seen it get text correct also. So it's not a complete lost cause, but it generated five outputs for us. The four leaf clover, it even kind of struggled with at times. It looks like it's got a lot of five leaf clovers. So that's kind of an interesting thing to note. Uh, perhaps maybe we go back to Everbee and just look at maybe a simpler design. Uh, this second bestseller is a custom shamrocked, sh custom shamrock design. So if Janice could just create a simple 
monotone four leaf clover, or we could say shamrock. Uh, and then we add the text personalization. This sweatshirt, according to Everbee, has sold 1,679 times. So that is, to me, a bestseller, and that would be absolutely incredible to have in our Etsy shop. So I'm going to come back here. Scroll down to the text to image generation and I will ask it simply to design. I don't even know if you have to tell it design because it's a text to image generation. So a single four leaf clover monotone where the color white monotone, no additional colors for use. On, well, let's not complicate it. I want to I don't want to say for use on a t-shirt graphic. Let's just hit generate images and see what happens. Okay. So I ran the prompt. It has had time to return the different outputs and you can see right here. So it's generating almost like a photorealistic. Uh, maybe I do need to request that it optimizes for a t-shirt graphic and even try stating a transparent background. So we can experiment with that. Uh, cause these do look more like they went out in nature and tried to take a photograph. Uh, I opened up a separate tab and Replace the word four leaf clover with the word shamrock just to see if it made a difference. Uh, so let's check this out. It's getting a little bit closer here with our request for a white shamrock, a white four leaf clover. Kind of odd that some of these almost look like they want to have like a 3D effect to it or almost like a gradient imprinted on it. I personally do not like, I call that a uh, clip art style and I, I don't like using that when I'm selling print on demand. So what I'm going to do is let me rewrite this. I will say, please generate a white shamrock graphic with a transparent background to be used on a graphic t-shirt design. And I'm going to hit generate images. This one did not take long to render. Let's see what we got. Uh, so it's doing a green background when we asked for a transparent background. Obviously we do have the ability to remove backgrounds pretty easily with tools like remove BG. Uh, so different options. Nothing is really what I was hoping for. Maybe let's put the ball in its court and let's just say uh, a St. Patrick's Day inspired graphic t-shirt design. So we are completely putting the ball in Deep Seek's court. We're saying just generate me a St. Patrick's Day inspired graphic t-shirt design. Now, if we wanted to get more specific, obviously Everbee has got 30,000 listings indexed when we requested St. Patrick's Day t-shirts. So let's see if Janice was able to come up with anything that could compete with those bestsellers on Etsy. Uh, and we put the ball in its court. We gave it a very open-ended prompt. It looks like it wanted to generate a maybe leprechaun there in the middle with four leaf clovers. The text looks like an L-I-P-A-H-D-E. Uh, <laughs> any guesses on what that text is supposed to say? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe leprechaun. Cause it looks like it's supposed to start with a, yeah. Oh, I think I figured it out. Hey, hold up. L something P that probably is supposed to say leprechaun. Um, the bottom, I don't know. So that's the first design, obviously not usable. Um, the next one looks like a leprechaun. So there we go. Maybe something about a pot of gold. <laughs> Let's see what else. This one's like leprechaun Jesus. Look at that beard or leprechaun Santa Claus. Although it definitely has a little bit of a creepy vibe to it. I would say. So not 100% sure on what that is supposed to say. Hopefully there's no like encoded satanic messaging in here, something crazy like that. Let's see. This is like a, another more friendly, more <laughs> a little bit lighter uh, leprechaun, St. Patrick's Day inspired shirt. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, I think we're a little bit early uh, to Deep Seek's image generation, but you know this stuff tends to move quickly as well. It wouldn't surprise me if we're doing like a part two follow-up video next week. Let me know if you want me to do that, by the way, uh, whenever they release a new version of this model. Yeah, so none of these had really usable text. I do think the open-ended ones at least were kind of giving us some inspiration, and you've got to go assume that it's looking at places like Etsy, like Amazon, like Google. Obviously, there's massive data sets, so when we ask it to generate designs like this, uh, I doubt that it's taking a complete shot in the dark. It's probably going out there and looking at, you know, 
looking for clues, right? Looking for the best sellers and whatnot. So it definitely looks like Deep Seek's Janus Pro 7B has some catching up to do, but you know how fast this stuff moves. So let me know if you'd like me to do a follow-up video in the future. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you were able to decipher whatever those crazy St. Patrick's Day inspired t-shirt designs were supposed to say, <laughs> let me know as well. I'm gonna drop a link to everything, including Everbee as well, in case you wanna check that out for Etsy research, as well as a link to the tool I used in order to generate these images. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another new video.